background picture. I know it does look like I'm doing my <laughs> Just be. Everybody wants to see the real you. Exactly. We are live here at the 2013 Harvest Festival with a band that have had the pleasure of interviewing down here, Mojo Flow. They had a good time down here. I already talked to him about that. I'll let these guys talk a little bit about the themselves as far as introducing themselves tell us about what they've been up to and also what members in the band that aren't here i'll let you start first i'm jake levy everybody calls me jl i play uh, drums and percussion and i rap in the band um yeah. there you go i'm amber nicole let's see i'm lead vocalist in the band. and i'm walter k and i play saxophone is there anybody else in the band that isn't here? Yeah, there's a few people. Um, our guitar player, George Berry, is uh, one of our full-time members who's not here right now. But, and this weekend we also had uh, DJ Washington on bass, uh, Jackson Gould on saxophone, and... Jeff Jam. Jeff Jam on the synthesizer. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, how did you guys all end up meeting and deciding to form a band? Um, well, us three and our guitar player, we actually met in college, a little uh, community uh, college, not community college, but in, uh, in Columbus, and, um, and we just started playing together, and then we found Amber, you know, the three of us were playing together with a bunch of different other guys, and we, um, you know, formed the group, and we were looking for a lead singer, and we came across her one, uh, one Friday morning. Um, like singing in the shower or something? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I first came across her, it was, she was giving a recital, because um, we were all in uh, the conservatory, all the guys were. But she was actually just performing a recital, and it was mandatory because we were in college for us to go there. And so it was great that it was mandatory because we showed up and we saw her. And it's like, you know, the next thing I know, just looking over the guitar player, I'm like, we gotta work with this girl. Mm -hmm. And you know, he talked to her a few weeks later, and then it's and it's history. And then you know, we're a group. Excellent, excellent. So uh, that was that. Hey, <laughs> how did you guys end up coming up once you got some of the members involved? How'd you end up coming up with a name, Mojo, for, for the band? Uh, honestly, the band, the name came last <laughs> out of after everything. Um, we finally actually we played a show outside. It was our first time ever performing together as a group, and we were outside at Christmas time in playing, Columbus, Ohio. Playing yeah, Christmas chilly. Carols. Right, but we had a somebody finally booked us to play at a bar, and we had to come up with the name. So we were sitting in the truck coming home from the gig. We were all cold. We were all cold and stuff. And we were like, man, Mojo would be a good one to put in there. And we just threw it around. What can we do? Mojo, Mojo, Mojo. And Jake was like, how about Mojo Flow? And we were like, all right, take off the W, make it one word. Boom. Get the Mojo Flow. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So when you guys uh, get together and play music, do you guys bring any uh, diverse musical interests as far as, you know, say, I want to play this tune with the band as far as getting it in your repertoire? Or when you write original music, is there anybody that you, uh, you know, try to think of in the back of your head as you're penning a new song? I'll let you guys go around here. Well, actually, yes, we do have a very diverse influence of very diverse. music. Very, very that diverse. It sounded like it from what I heard. <laughs> yes, the, the guys listen to everything from Stop Me If I'm, if I'm Messing Up say Lettuce, what <laughs> Erica Badu, D'Angelo, to I listen to lots of musical theater, lots of gospel. You know, I like everything from, nine, from the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Childhood, you guys, yeah. exactly. Jazz, funk, hip hop. Jazz. Yeah, I mean everybody kind of. Everybody has like everybody has like their little niche that they really really enjoy. But we all love each other's music. Like I'm like the big hip hop head in the band. Amber's like all about the theater and all that in the musical theater, which has made our you know uh, live performance really come alive. You know, um, and Walt like introduced us to all the like you know all the funky horn stuff bands like Lettuce and um, the bands that are just killing it in the festival scene right now. Like he got us all into that. And then George, our guitar player, is like you know coming. He comes from the singer songwriter you know side of it a lot. You know, um, he gets compared to like the John Mayer trio type stuff a lot. And um, so it's just like you know the palette is. There's a bunch of different stuff, you know, on the plate, and we just kind of, you know, just try to vibe off of each other as much as we can. <laughs> and we, so you know, we, whenever up. we, whenever we have like a, somebody has up. a CD, you know, and we'll just pass it along, and it's just like we all, you know, just share as much music as possible. Well, that gives you guys a pretty large repertoire. Yeah, that's excellent. Suppose you uh, met somebody on the street, hadn't heard of you guys, or you know, maybe you were referred to by a friend, and how would, how would you guys describe your your sound in your own words? Just a quick sentence or two, and I'll let each one of you answer yourselves because you might have an own <laughs> version of what you guys sound like. You start, Amber. Oh, all right. One sentence. That's very difficult one for sentence. me. Uh, we'll give you two. Thank you so you much. You get two. <laughs> 
female fronted funky feel good music. Oh, Ooh, right. that's gonna be one sentence. That's hard to beat. Now. There was some alliteration in there too. <laughs> that was nice. Um, we call it neo funk. It's sort of a jazz, hip hop, and soul fusion. But we always have, you know, a little reggae, a little rock. So try to do a little something for everybody. The neo sentences. funk. Four sentences. I'll cut those last two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess neo funk. Yeah. I'll just, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with them. The nail on that coffin. Yeah, yeah, I'll put the nail on that coffin. Exactly. So you guys have started playing live out a fair amount now, you know, as far as festivals and such. What do you think you like best about playing live? There's a million things. I mean, it's. I mean, it, I mean, it's, for me, there's two main things, and it's like um, vibing with the musicians on stage, and because you know we come from, uh, you know, we play pop music. I guess you would say, you know, popular music. We try to get everybody involved in, but we, you know, we're very, we have very big roots in improvising. But you know, we still try to stick to the form of, 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 of songs and stuff. I wouldn't necessarily say we're a jazz group. But I wouldn't necessarily say we're a jam band. But you know, there's a lot of improvising and being the like the drummer. You know, like those moments where me and the bass player are improvising and we just lock and stuff together, and it's just like never before. It's like stuff like that is you know up there. But then uh, you know the energy from the crowd. You know, for me, it's like being the drummer. Like when I see people dancing and moving, I'm like, okay, so I'm doing something right. You know, and that's re that's really, yeah. Yeah, it's the best part. It's, 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 it, I'll just tack on to that. The energy of the crowd, it's really getting that energy from the people around us. Uh, the, everyone on stage is a very good camaraderie among all of us on, on stage. And it's kind of a reciprocal really, type of thing. Is. You gotta, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's you gotta really give, nice. it, give it to get it, basically. Yeah, it's the best part. Yeah. Cool. And that's it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, uh, you guys have any place, you know, say someone came down here, really like your sound is there any place online where they could check out uh, some of your music maybe purchase an album you guys have a website or a facebook page anything like that yes you can check us out online at www.mojoflow.net we're also on facebook if you go to facebook.com backslash mojoflow and again that's m-o-j-o-f-l-o oh. <laughs> no w no oh, w no w and you can also follow us on twitter at Mojo Flow Music, and yes, you can buy all of our music on iTunes and also on our website. Okay, excellent. CD Baby, Amazon, pretty much everywhere. Just Google us, you'll find us. <laughs> cool. All right, do you guys have any big plans for 2013? Do you have any big festivals you're looking forward to? Any you know studio plans or uh, anybody you're looking forward to playing with? We have. Go ahead, one. Oh, sure. I was say we're actually really getting geared up for 2014 right now but we're working on releasing uh, we have a tribute to old school soul music that we've been working on over the last nice. year or two it's gonna be released this fall we have a music video that we're shooting this week actually yeah. when we get back home um, that's gonna go along with that and then we also have been writing brand new songs we all just went out to a cabin in the woods for a few days and wrote some new songs so we're gonna have a new, brand new EP coming out next year so we're gonna have brand new mojo flow for 2014 excellent we're very excited Anything you're looking forward to, maybe? I'm looking forward to the brand new music. It's, it's been really, uh, it's been a great journey that we've been on, and I'm very excited to show everyone what we've been working on. We've been sitting on a lot of stuff for a long time. We, we released, a, we had an EP a year in our first two years, or first three Every years. Every year we put one out. Every year we put something nice. out, and then we kind of hit a snag just because of life changes and personnel changes and all that, and so. We've been sitting on this, uh, this particularly this old school uh, throwback mm -hmm. EP, so I'm very excited to get that. I'm just excited to keep moving forward and get all this new stuff out because it's all it's very exciting. Excellent. Yeah, I mean the the new material that we have that we have coming out, I think is really it's 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 really where we're coming into ourselves because um, you know the last few albums, it's is really just kind of all of us still figuring out how to write, how to be Mojo Flow. You know, and it's like we take like you, we draw from this old school stuff, um, this new school stuff, and it's like you know I think now we're really figuring out how to put it together. So it's like I'm most excited to get that final product done and share it with everybody. And then True um, representative of your sound. Yeah, yeah, like it's you, been you know a while this is what you know we recorded something. So yeah, because right. yeah. the difference between where we're at, you know, we've been playing. We did um, the 420 uh, Cabin Fever Reliever here in Terrapin. Mm -hmm. We played the All Good Festival. 
Um, we're playing the workout. Um, wow. We'll be at the workout. Yeah, we'll awesome. be we'll be there. We'll be there, and we'll be we're playing the Breakaway Festival at the, uh, in in Columbus. And so so it's like the experiences that we've experienced the last um, you know two years from really diving into the festival scene has really influenced our music. And so it's like for us, it's just you know getting getting farther into the festival scene as a band, and you know sharing what what that's done to us and you know musically and stuff. That's what I'm really excited for. Excellent, excellent. Kind of it wins you up a little bit playing yeah. the fast scene. Yeah, for sure. definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, just got another quick question or two from you. Uh, do you guys, when you look back through all the years and all the places you played at, and however long it may have been, you guys are all pretty young. <laughs> but uh, do you have any best musical memories so far? When you look back and you know, someone asks you, you're like, yeah, that's the one thing that really was it. You know, there's a for me, there's like a million because um, there's always those moments. But for me, one of the big ones, I'm a huge reggae mm -hmm. fan. And we got to open up for uh, Jimmy Cliff um, in in Louisville, actually, for the Fourth of July, and it was like it was one of the most surreal experiences of my life. It was that's definitely a highlight for me. Great, great reggae legend. Oh, yeah, yeah. We just had a show in March of this year at a theater in Columbus called the Lincoln Theater. It's a Motown tribute show that we produced as Mojo Flow, and we worked on it for about. It, it started. The first idea was a year. It was the first big production that we really put together, and we had we had a full oh, we had such a huge band, band, we had a twenty piece band, band wow. and we did arrangements for it. It was all Motown. We had a, three of Columbus's best singers. You could just never. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I had we had myself and then two of Columbus's <laughs> singers. No, no, but well, we had we three. had the three. Thing, three. You know, we had the the best two people that I could possibly have ever hope to sing with as our other two lead vocalists and we had this band and it was a Motown tribute show at the Lincoln Theater and that is a, a theater in Columbus that has actually been rehabilitated and it was um, it was one of the first theaters that black performers were allowed to perform and that's where they went because of the way that our country used to be and so that district is the uh, is the black dish, I don't want to say black district but it was part of the revitalization mm -hmm. of all of that and so that theater is the beacon of that revitalization and when I was a child I saw it when it was all dilapidated and so now to have performed in it. So we sold it out. So we sold it out and we sold it out. And Probably so find videos was, on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yes you can actually yeah. if you go to our um, website well if you go to our Facebook there are we have, uh, and we have on SoundCloud, we have um, oh, yes. live music. SoundCloud? Yeah, on SoundCloud, um, we have a uh, free Motown music on SoundCloud.com. Yes. Um, I think backslash Mojo Flow. Um, I think, yeah. Stop in the Name of Love Stop is the on name there. Of love is what it is. I think maybe some Stevie Wonder's so on there. So that was my favorite. That's good. That was by yeah. far my favorite. What about your favorite when you look back? Um, definitely, well, the best musical moment I've experienced as a fan was seeing Fela Kute um, <laughs> in Detroit. In, at Shane Park, which is just right on the river there, and you can see Canada in the background, and he's just an amazing musician from Africa that plays saxophone. That was a life-changing moment for me. Yeah. Um, and my favorite musical moment, uh, being a performer, I think, was just this past year uh, we played uh, in New Orleans for Mardi Gras, and we've been going the last wow. few years, but this past year it was just a really great experience. <laughs> with, there was just so many people and so much energy and so much love, and it was just a great time. Do you have any uh, any shout outs you'd like to give to anybody? Friends, shout family, outs. or anybody? Well, shout out to George. George! Okay, having a good time. Everybody in the band, everybody back in Columbus, all our fans. Mm -hmm. Definitely, thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Shout out to Jason Hill for having Jason, us. Jason, yeah. thank you. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I love you, Mom. <laughs> shout out to Ramblin' Rob. Yeah. There you, yeah. There you go. We'll wrap this up with one quick question. I don't know if you guys are big fans, but do you have any favorite Grateful Dead songs that you like to My favorite Grateful Dead song. Could just be in uh, Harry. Yeah. Some people don't like them. Just curious. I'm, I'm not the biggest Grateful Dead fan. Okay, there you go. Um, I mean, I guess when it, I'm more of a fish guy. Uh, you have a favorite fish song? Uh, possum. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. You got a favorite Dead song well, if you're a fan? I, I actually I just asked now. him if one particular song was a Grateful Dead song that I like, and it's not. Okay. And on. I don't, but. For my answer there, I love the Emerald City sequence in The Wiz. <laughs> Go watch that. Okay. It's amazing. It's a, it's all of 10 minutes. Quincy Jones, a frigging genius. Yeah. <laughs> and if someone busted that out at a festival, the entire Emerald City sequence from The Wiz, 
I would be down there in I would be red slippers in the in all of the colors. <laughs> Well, I gotta say the uh, Scarlet Begonia Fire on the Mountain mashup or medley. That's my oh, favorite okay, right there. Man. That's yeah. my jam. I know, you, you know, Die Hard that? Deadheads Wait, what, might what's your, not What's be, your favorite you know, dead song that yeah, you would want to hear yeah, What do we need to check out? You need to get us hip. Well, yeah. I mean, if you guys are funky, you know, there's a real nice Scarlet Fire. I mean, if you want to get obscure, uh, Mickey Hart does kind of a rap version of uh, Fire on the Mountain. Okay. okay. one on YouTube. They oh, always yeah. tell us when you're hip hop guys, you know, play that at a festival. Nice. All right. Yeah, that's on top. Check that one out. I got the wheels turning. Now we know. The wheels are turning. Yeah. Thanks, Rob. Thank you guys for joining awesome. us. This has been uh, Mojo Flow. You can check these guys out online or at a festival close to you. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank right. you Thanks, for having Rob. us. Appreciate you. Appreciate it.